Hello everyone and welcome. My name is Ash Daddy and today we're going to be going over five things to make a very basic armor mission and get it moving. I know when I first started making armor missions a couple years ago, it was pretty daunting because if you had any questions, uh, the forums weren't always the best and sometimes you just want to see someone go through a tutorial with you. So YouTube's your best option, but um, a lot of the videos were either really old or just not consistent. You couldn't stay with one person who was making a video and follow them through a bunch of tutorials. So I wanted to make a series of videos that covers very basic things in uh, the Arma editor, as well as some of the mod sets and how to install harder to do mods, kind of like a Task Force Arrowhead, a really good radio mod that I'd recommend. There's not really a good video for that, so I wanted to make this uh, with my group in mind. Um, just to get them spun up on how to make maps and how to use mods correctly. Um, if you want to check us out, we do a lot of missions that we create custom. Um, you can check us out on my Twitch, Ash Daddy Actual, and you can see a lot of the principles I'm about to show you put into play in real missions. So, uh, without further ado, here's five simple things we could do to make armor missions. Okay, once your game loads, you're going to go to Editor. Uh, pick a map you want to do. I'll just go with Altus for now. Got a lot of, uh, got a lot going on with it, so you can have a lot of good missions based out of Altus. Just pick little corners of the map. Okay, so tip number one, um, mission. You have to have a mission in mind. Um, really, everything that you're going to do in this is going to be based on what type of mission or objectives you're trying to complete. So for a very, very basic mission, HVT is one that always comes to mind. You could do it with a person. You could do it with a an object, a vehicle. HVT just stands for a high value target and all you have to do is get to a point and destroy the HVT. All right, so it's very, very easy and I'll show you all the coding that goes on along with it. One of the first things you're going to want to do is place down your units. Very simple. So we'll just go with a basic NATO unit, uh, the ever famous ammo bearer. And then we'll also go to op four, which just stands for op, you know, oppositional force. And we'll drop him down as well. So now we have two guys that are populating this little world of ours. And um, one of them is going to be the HVT. Uh, if you see this red circle around the player, or around this unit, that's player icon. That means that this is a playable unit, and when you load in, you will load in as this guy. So, now that we have um, our mission, we're going to want to um, exterminate this HVT. So... In order for him to be an HVT, we got to call him an HVT. So let's call him HVT. And really, this could be anything that you want it to be. So the next tip is going to be um, talking about the units themselves. When it comes to the unit, there's a lot of things you can do with him. He's got a gun. He's got a backpack. He's got a full kit. Um, maybe you don't want him to look exactly like this. Maybe you want it to be a sniping mission, so you got to give your guy a sniper rifle. Uh, maybe you want it to be some sort of wet work stuff. You need to um, give him... Halo gear, maybe you need to give him a, a wetsuit. All of that could be controlled. Just click on the guy, right click, edit loadout. I'll give him one of the base sniper rifles. Now, uh, let's go with this one. Okay. And then we'll give it a scope. So that's on the right. We'll go with this one. You could change out the vest. Right, let's just uh, pick one. Change it up. And give him a backpack of a different color. Uh, and also different weight capacity. Give them maybe some uh, range designators, MVGs. All that stuff can be controlled through this right menu. And subsequently, you can outfit more on the, the, the right menu over here with ammo. And miscellaneous items, explosive grenades. Um, this magazine just means that it's organic ammo to whatever weapons you have. And this one means it has... It has every ammo, so you can you can be an ammo bearer for other weapon systems like light machine guns. Hit OK, and now your guy is outfitted with a, a DM rifle and um, a different kit. I'm going to pull him away a little bit, just so that this guy doesn't uh, see us right away. Now that we have our units and we have our mission, we need to make it happen. We need to bring it to life, and the best way to do that in Arma is this beautiful system called Modules. Okay? So you're going to go to Systems, F5, go to Modules tab, not the Logic Entries, but Modules. And you're going to run down to this thing called um, Intelligence. Okay, Create Task. 
So what this is going to do is upon a trigger, it's going to give you the mission in game. So create task, you're going to set a task state, you're going to connect it to. And all this does is um, upon a trigger, this task state will either succeed or fail the task. Now, in order to initiate either of these things, they don't mean anything now, but we need triggers. So I'm going to copy these triggers across and we're going to connect them in a pattern that kind of looks like a little box. Okay, so this trigger controls the task creation and this trigger controls the success or failure of this task. So for the task we're going to go in, the owner is going to be all playable units. That way, when this is triggered, this task will appear to everyone in game. Title, uh, we're going to give the mission being eliminate the HVT. And this is what's going to appear on the screen in front of you. Description is going to be in the task section of the menu. And you can go into a little more detail. Let's just say um, this is a really bad guy who needs to be eliminated. You can put whatever you want here. This is where you can start creating a bit of a story. Um, and you can really flush out or sort of flesh out the ambiance of the game um, with descriptions like this. Really make it believable. Okay. So we'll set this state as assigned. So that means uh, when this task is created, it's immediately assigned as something for your unit to want to go do on the map. Um, you can have this destination as the module position or you can get rid of it completely. And what that means is when you look at the map, it'll show either a little pin drop where this you know, objective is or you have to figure it out on your own by disabling it. I'll do module position. And what it means by module position is wherever I put this module, that's where that little pin is going to drop in the map. So we'll put it directly on the HVT. You don't have to, but um, you know, some people need a little bit of a guiding hand. Or in the task description, you could always just call out a city name, like, uh, hey, there's a really bad guy in Chalkia. And then your team has to converge on Chalkia and find the HVT. Now that we've created the task, we need to determine how this... Um, task can fail or succeed based on triggers. So what we want to do is put a condition. This is where coding comes in. Um, coding and modules go hand in hand. So for condition, we're going to set it as exclamation point alive HVT semicolon. Semicolons always have to come at the end of an executable line in Arma. Um, and what this really just means is the game is going to search for the variable name HVT and it's going to determine whether or not it's alive. Uh, when it comes to Arma, alive can either mean despawned or killed. It's seen the same way. Um, and the exclamation point at the beginning just means you know, opposite of alive or negative alive, dead. So once the game finds the HVT dead, it will trigger after a certain amount of time. We're going to set that time. Sorry, that time is at the bottom. I set that to five seconds. It's a nice, um, nice delay between you actually dropping the target. One, two, three, four, five, and then it executes the command. On activation, I like to put hints. Hint. Um, we'll just say HVT eliminated, and this little hint is going to pop up in a little blip in the top right corner of the uh, computer, or computer screen, and that's just a nice way to know that your trigger actually worked you have these little hints that tell you, um, okay, this line of code executed. You hit okay. So that is the executable, executable line for the task state. And we want the task state to be succeed um, if and only if the HVT is eliminated. Okay. Now at the beginning of the game, we need to create this mission. So to create this mission, there's a little workaround that I use um, so what it's going to do is it's going to search for any blue four within this bubble. So we want to make sure that this trigger is set up correctly so that it will search for blue four in that circle and, um, it will trip when there's not. So we want to set it to not present. That way it goes searching for blue four. And when it doesn't find anything, it will trigger this, uh, trigger. 
So we want to set it for about four seconds. That way, uh, once we load into the mission, we can um, load in properly, catch our bearings, and then we get hit with a mission. Okay. All right, now that we have uh, the mission, we have the unit set up and some of the coding down, we need to talk about world building, okay? It's not just enough to have a point A, point B mission. We need to have a little bit of world building. So that leads us to the fourth thing that I was talking about for missions. Uh, so we're gonna take the HVT and the module pin, okay? And we're just gonna put them inside the city. Now, the city itself is uh, decently you know, it's decently decorated and all this stuff, but it seems a little drab, right? So we're gonna have this guy moving around a little bit. And one way you can do that is click on him. You're gonna go to waypoints and you're gonna go to movement. So we're just gonna have him do like a light patrol uh, down this way. Um, and you can hold control, left control, and you can set down multiple waypoints. Do control, click. And you want to finish it all off with a cycle command. And once you see that cycle command connect back, you know that it's set up properly. So he's going to do a little patrol route around this. Now to set up his gait or how he moves, you're going to click on this first bubble here. Uh, you're going to go to like a limited behavior. You want him to be on like safe. Um, depending on how aggressive you want them to be, you can change on their combat mode. I'll usually put it on like um, open fire keep formation. That way, once they see you, they'll start firing. Condition will be true. Um, and that should be good. Everything should be ready here. And then the other bubbles uh, should maintain those settings. So unchanged, 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 unchanged. If you want them to change for any reason, you just click on that bubble and it'll change his movement once he gets there. Okay. So if I... But this properly, he should be able to walk around and just do like an endless loop until I show up and shoot him. I'm gonna move this guy around over here just so I can get a shot on him. Uh, for testing purposes, you wanna make sure that you can actually test this out. Later on, you can move this player wherever the hell you want to a staging area far, far away with a helicopter he has a fly in, whatever you wanna do. Now, maybe we want this guy to have some fire team with him just to protect. We'll also have these guys, and you can click, or you can drag and click all of them. Maybe we want these guys to be doing a patrol, just to make it a little bit harder to get into the center of the city. So, we're going to have this, do a control click, and just have these guys going around the outside here. I don't know. Doesn't really matter. Okay, and we'll, we're going to put the same settings. So, limited uh, behavior will be keep formation on fire and safe. That way they're not immediately hostile, they're just sort of patrolling, and that should be good. So now that we have a little bit of the world set up, um, you know, maybe you want to put like a vehicle in there, okay? Just um, just for a little bit of, uh, you know, movement sake. So we're going to put in a car, a little Ifrit. Maybe he'll just be sitting there. See, just a lot of stuff. And then there's a million assets in the props section that you could put. Uh, you could do systems that give you like smoke and fire like that. Maybe they're in a war-torn city. You got to set the vibe, okay? So I'm going to look for smoke. Oh, it's in here somewhere. There it is. So let's say, let's just put some smoke on this building here. Make it look like it's been fragged a little bit. Okay, now that we have the smoke down, um, I want to take this edit terrain object and use it. I got that under modules. Edit terrain object allows you to sort of manipulate the map's assets. So I can use it to you know, create various levels of damage, like a light damage on this side or, you know, severe damage across the entire thing. I'm just going to set it to like a light one and have some smoke protruding from this side. Uh, I went ahead and moved the HVT to here just to make it easier for me to troubleshoot later. I want to be able to see the HVT and the patrol all doing action uh, without having to move from where I spawned. So I'm going to have the HVT doing his route from here. And there's the create task little blip that should appear on the map. Now last thing we need to worry about is with this trigger... 
you're going to want to go back to type and select one of the endings um, that the thing was completed successfully. So we're going to go with ending six. Okay. And it doesn't really matter which one. Hit OK. That means once the HVT is dead, mission complete. You should get the mission complete screen. Um, and, you know, it's, it's a very satisfactory way to end these missions because if you just sort of say, oh, it's over, there's not that payoff with the, you know, the end our complete successful mission. This is going to lead onto the fifth, and I would say one of the most important phases, the testing. You want to make sure that these maps that you make are foolproof. You want to make sure that everything works, uh, kind of like a, a well-wound clock. You don't want your friends jumping into these maps and having to leave because nothing triggered and you're just sort of sitting in an empty map with no dynamics. So in order to mitigate that, you're going to want to go ahead and test run these bad boys. Um, now, there's some certain maps where I'll go through and I'll just test after every small little change because there's so much going on. I don't want to conflict. So some maps I've run, you know, several, several times just to make sure that they worked for my friends and that they don't lose confidence in my ability to make these maps. So you're going to save it, and in the bottom right-hand corner, there's a button that says Play Scenario. Play Scenario. Okay, now after five seconds, we should get the task. Eliminate HVT. Perfect. We see the HVT. And there's that little blip that I was talking about, that module that we dra dragged around the map. So that's that blip, and you can see it on the map. Eliminate HVT. If we want more, you know, um, expansion on what the task is, that's where that word bubble comes in. We can see that the patrol out there is doing their due diligence and walking around. And we see that the uh, destroyed building is still held up past uh, the map editor with the smoke. If we coded this correctly, guys, once I kill this guy... We should get a complete mission. There it goes. Mission completed. Well, hopefully you found something informative out of this video, something that you can use. Um, hopefully it gave you the confidence if you've never built a map, you could get in and get something working. And then from there, you can expand. You can make your world a little bit deeper. And you can, um, you know, feel confident with the modules in Arma. Just start exploring through all the cool stuff in here. If you found something good about this video, please leave a like. It would really help out the channel. And we're really just trying to get this information out to people like you and myself who like making Arma maps. So um, see you next time, and hopefully we'll have some videos out later that cover more in-depth stuff. There could be guys on every single roof. Ready? My god.